concede I would never let this happen or do it on purpose. I wish I could remember what happened. I'm just so sorry. I'm heartbroken. I love Dom and Davia. Mackenzie Shirilla begs for mercy and forgiveness after she's convicted of murdering her boyfriend and their friend by plowing her car into a building. We have the entire story of the deaths of Dominic Russo and Davian Flanagan and the sentencing of Mackenzie Shirilla. Dom and Davian were robbed of their futures, their hopes, and their dreams. And the harsh words from the judge for the now convicted murderer. There's only one person who's responsible for the pain of everyone in this room, and that person is you, Mackenzie. Nobody else is responsible. To Law and Crime Sidebar Podcast, I'm Anjanette Levy. Mackenzie Shirilla is 19 years old, and it's very possible she could spend the rest of her life in prison. Most young women her age are thinking about college or getting a job, but the judge in her criminal case said her choices in July of last year have led instead to her being labeled a convicted felon. It was July 31st, 2022, when prosecutors say Mackenzie Shirilla put her foot on the gas in her car and plowed it into a building intentionally. She was driving 100 miles per hour. The impact killed her boyfriend, Dominic Russo, and his friend, Davian Flanagan. Surveillance video captured Shirilla's car speeding down the road in Strongsville, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland. Shirilla opted for a bench trial in Cuyahoga County in front of Judge Nancy Margaret Russo, who has a reputation as being a very tough judge. Judge Russo found Shirilla guilty of two counts of murder and called Shirilla hell on wheels. Davy and Flanagan's mother, Jamie, addressed the court. She said her son did not have a clique of friends and instead he was a friend to all. She said he dreamed of opening a barber shop of his own and she also described how she adopted Davian and his sisters. My son Davion is and always will be so much more than part of. He was precious. He was an amazing soul with a heart of gold. Davion and my kids have had more than their fair share of heartbreak, of hardship, and of loss. Davion was adopted with his sisters from foster care. Their biological siblings, we are honored to be chosen or to have been chosen to be the parents. They're forever family. I am devastated by the loss of Davion. The world lost a truly special man. My girls lost their best friend, their protector, the one and only trusted family that has been by their side from day one. This alone, or he alone, understands the pain and loss that they have gone through and was always there for them. Davion Flanagan's sister then spoke to the court. I don't want this pain for anyone else. I don't want people to have to go through this. As an 18-year-old, I hate the fact that he is gone because someone decided to take his life. Now that Davion is gone, I feel stuck. I feel as if I can't move forward. I feel lost. I was the, he was the one who picked me up when I fell. He was my best friend and the only person that had stayed with me since I was born. I, I, would, I would like you to give Mackenzie the longest possible sentence. I've known her for about three years and actually she's always taken the easy way out. Christine Russo is Dominic Russo's mother. She also addressed the judge. No one wanted this to be a murder or to punish Mackenzie and Shirilla for this accident. But this was not a car accident. The evidence and science proved that Mackenzie Shirilla murdered my son, Dominic, as well as Davion. There's no fix put in in this case, as the Shirillas would like to reclaim. I want to thank Strasville Police Department and the state of Ohio for seeking the truth behind this crash. Thanks to them, we all know what happened in that car that day. What we don't know is why. I wish I could change this every day. I lost three children in that crash. Now, a minute goes by each day that I don't think about my son. This well stadium, my heart is forever broken. Then Christine Russo told Judge Russo, no relation there, what Mackenzie's mother said to her following the crash. 
July 31st, 2022. I called Cass's mother hysterical with the loss of my son and baby now. I knew Mackenzie was in the hospital. And the first statement said to me was, oh, please don't listen to what everyone's saying on Facebook. Yeah, my son is dead. His friend is dead. I'm checking on yours. Social media is what's important. Social media has made a game out of the life of Mackenzie and is making a game out of this heart-wrenching tragedy. It's kind of hard to imagine someone being concerned about what's on social media when two kids have been killed and her daughter was seriously injured. Angelo Russo was Dominic's older brother, and he also spoke. Nothing said or done here today can describe the loss or repair our lives after this tragedy. Kenzie's statement in the hospital to Detective Azu, can't you just take my license away for 10 years or something? That statement is Mackenzie's. That statement is Mackenzie Cirillo. The most selfish person I know, ironically, Don was the most selfless person I know. Mackenzie Cirillo murdered Don and Davion in cold blood and had already moved on. Mackenzie killed Don over the thought of losing him and she made Davion collateral damage. She was driving, going to concerts, and dressing up for Halloween. No thoughts of families and lives that she had destroyed. The prosecutor showed messages that he says Mackenzie Sharilla sent to a modeling agency in Los Angeles while she was still in the hospital recovering from the crash. Shortly after the crash, <laughs> Strongsville police were notified that they had uh, received concerning emails from the community that the defendant and her mother were seeking employment with the Los Angeles uh, modeling agency. Kenzie Sharilla said to Vitaly, thank you for the comment. I would love to work with you guys. I've been emailing you guys a lot. Such a great opportunity. Thank you. Is there a date? There is not a date on this, Your Honor. Based on the investigation, um, it was delivered to the police while uh, the defendant was still in the uh, Metro Health Hospital. He also showed a photo of her at a concert while in a wheelchair and played some of her posts from social media for the court. I'm not even cool. I'm just one of those girls that can do a lot of drugs and not die. And then the prosecutor showed videos from TikTok from Halloween of last year, right before Sharilla's arrest. All of this was, of course, to show that Mackenzie Sharilla was more concerned with having a modeling career and having fun than the passing of her boyfriend and his friend. Mackenzie's mother knows that it's very possible her daughter will go to prison for the rest of her natural life, but the judge has a decision to make. She can make these sentences run consecutively, meaning that they run one after the other, or concurrently, meaning that they run at the same time, and then that would make Mackenzie eligible for parole after serving 15 years. So Mackenzie's mother, begged the judge for some type of mercy for her daughter. I just want to say to the families that I'm broken, sad, and lost, and my heart hurts for everyone, okay? Damien was a new friend, and Don was the love of her life, and he was part of our family, okay? I'm just so sorry that this happened, and my heart broken, okay? And then, Your Honor, this was a terrible, tragic, nightmare accident to have happened that she has no memory of and she will never emotionally or physically recover of it, recover from it. Um, she almost died too. And we're asking that you please not run the sentence as consecutive. It was family and we all love each other. That morning of the accident, she called, I got a phone call that she, there was a car accident, okay? So we went to the hospital and I didn't even know who was in the car. The names had not been confirmed yet. And I was like, I'm crying, I missed him so much. We loved him so much. I called down, like over and over again, praying that he was going to answer the phone, and he didn't answer the phone. We loved him so much, and I hung up the phone. I did not talk about social media. I didn't even know what was going on yet. Then it was Mackenzie Sherilla's turn to address the court. Her statement was fairly brief. The families of Don and Damien, I'm so deeply sorry. I hope one day you can see I would never let this happen or do it on purpose. 
I wish I could remember what happened. I'm just so sorry. I'm heartbroken. I love Doc and Davion. We were all friends, and Doc was my soulmate. I wish I could take all your pain away, and I'm so sorry. And to my family, thank you for the support and all the love you guys give. Thank you for fighting with me. I love you all so much. Judge Russo then sentenced Mackenzie Sharilla and explained why she was giving the sentence that she was. Today is the sentencing of the defendant for the purposeful and intentional murders of Davion Flanagan and Dominic Rousseau. And in a way, it's the second time their families are gathered again to grieve. It's also a day when Mackenzie's family will grieve for the future of their daughter. All three of these families and the friends of these families are suffering and all of their lives have been irrevocably changed because of the actions of the defendant. The unintended and collateral consequences of a selfish, intentional, and cruel decision by Mackenzie will ripple forever in time. It's literally changed history because it's ended two lives. Two young men are dead. Their deaths were horrible, terrifying, and tragic. I will say again, if any reasonable person reviews Exhibit 802, there can be no doubt in your mind what happened this night. That even if Mackenzie intended to also die in this crash, that is irrelevant. A failed suicide attempt is not a defense to murder. And even in a murder-suicide attempt, when the perpetrator executing the plan survives, the other death or deaths are still murder there's a very good likelihood, Mackenzie, that you will spend the rest of your life in prison. That won't be up to me. That will be up to the parole board, and that will be up to you to a great extent. I understand that the pain in this room wants me to impose the harshest sentence, but I don't believe that would be the appropriate sentence because I do believe that Mackenzie will not be out in 15 years. So she's sentenced on count two, the murder of Davion Flanagan, 15 years to life. She's sentenced on count one, the murder of Dominic Russo, 15 years to life, to be served concurrent to each other with credit for time served. Sharilla will be sent to the Ohio Department of Corrections and likely placed in the women's prison at Marysville. She'll go before the parole board after serving 15 years since Judge Russo opted to sentence her to those concurrent sentences. That's it for this edition of Law & Crime Sidebar Podcast. You can listen to and download Sidebar on Apple, Spotify, Google, and wherever else you get your podcasts. And of course, you can always watch it on Law & Crime's YouTube channel. Remember to hit that subscribe button. I'm Anjanette Levy, and we will see you next time.